Okay, the first collectible of Area 2 Marine Nation is immediately as you first enter the area, you come into uh, the area from this uh, elevator thing, uh, and it's right here. This is image number... Image number 17. For the next collectible, uh, you will be on these stairs. Now, the map doesn't show it, but there is stairs uh, from uh, that square down to that square. So, as I said, the first collectible is there. You come across, fly down here, come across, and then just work your way around. Um, you'll have a small fight scene in this area here, and then you can come up to the closed elevator number five, and you will see... Uh, upgrade call 15 okay after getting the last collectible which was uh, right here next to the closed teleporter 5 we're gonna come all the way back and then we're gonna go uh, up along this exit it's a straight uh, row you can't go anywhere else until you find the craft tonic machine which is right here and then you'll find your uh, next collectible which is uh, image number 13 image 13 okay after the last collectible uh, which was just there you will want to come back and go down elevator number one when you do you'll be going through a single corridor to meet this room You'll first meet uh, the frog bot here, which you will spawn from a lever like this. And you'll move yourself over here by moving the platform that's in the water with the frog. What you want to do is, once you're over to the northwest side of the room, uh, bring the uh, platform up there so you can go across and get radio frequency core number 5. Uh, small notes, you will see the red cartridge, uh, but we can't get that yet. So that's later on. Okay, this next one is easy to find. After the previous collectible, uh, which is about there on the map, you will move back around from the frog uh, platform and move into the next room. You'll have a fight sequence on this gigantic platform here with about six or seven enemies and uh, I think it was two healing bots. Once that's fight over, you will want to progress to the northwest uh, across here, where you will uh, see this platform, and then easily turn right. And you, this is nearly unmissable. Uh, this is uh, upgrade core number sixteen. Okay, in the room after upgrade core number sixteen, which you may remember is there. Uh, you'll have to move a kind of cube holding bot across platforms. You see I've got the cube holding bot here. Uh, the cube is here where I'm standing and the bot that I'm currently linked to starts on the reddish platform to the northeast of me. You have to keep flicking between uh, the vacuum bot and the frog bot to move the platform so that you can get the uh, cube bot to so pick up the cube from the platform I'm on and then move him all the way over up to here to put this power in. Once you've done that, you can go onto this, which opens the door, and you can pick up the next collectible, which is uh, file number 20. Okay, after the uh, previous collectible, you will go up elevator number two after triggering a lever which activates elevator number five. You will make your way southeast and unlock this bollard gate. You will see a frog uh, spawner, so grab the frog. Be careful to dodge because uh, he has a tendency to attack before you can lock on your signal beam. And what we're going to do is we are going to move the frog all the way over here. Come on, froggy. There you go. We're going to drag the uh, 
platform. All the way over here. And that means that we can fly across to grab upgrade core number 17. Okay, a quick directional note here so that uh, you can keep up with the easy access. Uh, after the previous collectible, which was upgrade core 17, which you will find here, you're going to unlock the bollard door there with a switch and also unlock the double bollard gates here uh, with this lever. This is simply for easy access later on. Okay, from the last video where you were outside the casino, you are going to go into the casino, probably fight some enemies, continue on through the left door that you see, we're going to go around and you're going to be in front of this, well you're going to be in front of this image in these like two half circle uh, benches and this is image number, I really wish it wouldn't go back when I do that. Uh, Jukebot, which I believe is image number seven. So, image number seven there. I would just like to mention at this point that I've just experienced a glitch whilst recording these collectible uh, pickups. Uh, when I came out of the casino area, uh, the two uh, upgrade cores in the main area of area two. Uh, so basically it was uh, the this big area here the upgrade core that was there and the upgrade core that was next to elevator 5 had actually respawned for me so if you're comparing your collectibles um, with uh, mine at this point you will always see me having two more upgrade cores than you this isn't because you've missed any collectibles, it is simply because the game uh, glitched and respawned the two of them. I don't know if those two count towards the achievement for uh, all of the cores. What may happen is that the achievement for getting all of the upgrade cores may pop two cores early for me. However, uh, I will be showing you all of them in this playlist of collectibles uh, so don't worry you will still be able to get all of the cores and the other collectibles in this playlist thank you And this core right there was upgrade core number 18. Okay, once you're in this room, you will need to go up here, fight some enemies, grab a frog bot, bring him all the way down here, 
and move a moving platform here over to here so that you can get the green cartridge over here so green cartridge is there when you've done that you want to progress forward you'll want to bring your frog and put, uh, bring him off the water in here to um, stand on this switch and once you've done that it'll open this bollard gate and you can pick up this which is file number 14 from the last collectible grab uh, a water platform and have froggy bring it all the way up here you may notice where we're going there's the repair thing but we can't quite get that yet because we still need froggy to uh, stand on this switch so once he does uh, you can release him uh, fly over here and grab what is repair core number eight that is repair core number eight in the next room from the previous collectible uh, you'll have a pathway uh, which will move you along here what you want to do is take the left and then go across the wooden pallets and you will find what is upgrade core number 19 however notice there is also a door behind the waterfall so go behind the waterfall and you will also find what is power core number 4 so that is upgrade core 19 and power core number 4 okay a short while after the previous collectible um, you'll come out of uh, elevator 6 go across a bunch of grassy water areas go down a door uh, you will pass a blue cartridge door which we haven't yet uh, got the cartridge for you will uh, actually uh, go into here this map uh, has an error on it where these two yellow dot paths are actually mixed up um, this building here goes to this entryway and this entryway goes to uh, this building here so take note of that these two yellow paths are wrong on the map anyway once you've done that you'll come out and you'll be able to grab a frog which can move this moving platform Oops. Uh, over to here and then what you'll be able to do is get repair core number nine okay so for this collectible you see in front uh, we've got quite a long journey so from the uh, previous area that I showed you which was here you're gonna want to go up this ramp here uh, you'll have to go across the car to reach it by the way uh, go southeast and then you're going to go all the way around these platforms of cars and wooden pallets and things like that until you reach this area once you've done that you can uh, pick up this collectible which is file number six okay from the previous collectible which I mentioned which was file number six uh, what we're now going to do is uh, file number six was where it was on the map where I'm pointing you're going to come all the way down go across the wooden pallets and this bone shaped platform you're going to come across here until we're standing on here we're going to go across the car onto this little platform here and we're going to pick up upgrade core number 20 starting directly off from the previous collectible which was upgrade core number 20 which was just here you're going to fly southeast from here to find a hidden wooden pallet you're going to fly northeast to this car and you'll be able to pick up what is uh, the aqua car straight out of tomorrow image which is image number 15 okay earlier in this uh, collectible guide I did tell you to get the green uh, cartridge which I believe was on this platform here if you never got it so that's where it is um, to get this next collectible you are going to go into this 
green cartridge door which is located here uh, just after the previous collectibles which were there anyway we're going to go into the green cartridge door and we are going to get what is power core number five and also file number three Okay, coming up from the previous collect, well obviously the green cartridge door was here, so you want to come up here and then you'll go northeast. Follow the pathway around, float across, and you'll come across to this giant doorway guarded by an immobile uh, husk of a robot. And you'll see the collectible here, which is file number 8. Straight from the last collectible, which was on this table, you may notice this arch leading to nowhere, or is it? You can fly southwest and you'll find uh, radio frequency core number six. From those previous two collectibles, we're going to move to the southeast. Come on, little robot, roll yourself. There you go. barrels and you're going to find what is uh, file number 19 okay after a long journey we'll be at the next uh, collectible however um, I would like to announce that the uh, yellow cartridge is at that position there on the map it's up against this pillar thing so once you've got that move all the way up Go along these platforms and you'll have to work your way through a puzzle here regarding two spider bots to get across some bollard gates. Once you've done that, come down, do the fights, keep going all the way down and you'll be at this area. There will be This will be a fight area. You will have lots of enemies in here which you'll need to uh, get rid of. However, uh, you see this little metal train thing? Uh, there's a platform behind it, fly to that, fly to that, fly to the yellow car, fly, uh, fly to the blue car, fly to the wooden pallet, Oops. the platform, the next wooden pallet, the next wooden pallet, and finally after all this flying you reach uh, radio frequency upgrade uh, number 7, so radio frequency core number 7. Okay, this collectible is really bloody awkward. Uh, you cross a plane, uh, obviously, because the last collectibles that we got were um, the uh, radio frequency core 7, which was there. So we're going to come all the way up, go across the plane, and there will be a frog waiting uh, just there. So you control beam him, go all the way up here, and you'll be able to get, get this platform that's in the water. What you'll need to do is put the platform here where the frog is so you can fly over to where I currently am and then obviously you just want to move your character all the way over here have the frog move the platform where it currently is standing and then fly into here you'll find this secret room where is uh, where there is uh, repair core number 10 oops repair core number 10 and file number 23 so uh, re repair core number 10 and file 23 continuing on from the previous collectibles which were in this building through a hole in the wall there you're going to move up the path in a northwesterly direction you're going to fly it into there and then you're going to go into this building here this building will take you to this long corridor with this room in the middle when you're here, you're going to want to take the frog from, uh, you can't quite see it here, there you go, a frog from that lever there, and you're going to have the frog move the platform to this position. You're going to move along here, go onto that, you're going to fly along, you're going to fly along again, and you're going to be picking up uh, upgrade core number 21. 
from the last collectible which was upgrade core number 21 which was on this 2x2 two two, uh, platform in the middle of the water you follow the exit through and you'll end up here you're going to want to come down the path and then go in a north westerly direction to fly over these circular platforms to reach uh, elevator number three take elevator number three down and you will find yourself in this room here there will be a big battle scene between these two platforms here that are white uh, and just to the left of it as you can see on just where the cursor is is a wooden pallet floating in the water and that is where upgrade core number 22 is okay the next collectible after the previous room which was this room where you found upgrade core number 22 um, you'll have a laser on a wooden platform here which you can destroy uh, and then you want to hover down here there will be a spider bot machine which you can spawn one here take the spider bot through a tube which goes from that square to that square then there will be another tube which goes from that square to there once you put the spider through both of those uh, two tubes there will be a third tube which goes from there to there and then from that third tube you want the spider where as I said here it is this spider will be moved onto that switch ignore the frog bot for a minute and take the spider over here through this tunnel and you can put him on that switch which opens the door over there now take the frog bot move back to the platform have the uh, frog bot move the platform over here. Ignore the frog bot for now. Come over, and you will be taking uh, upgrade core. Once you've killed the spider, upgrade core number 23. Okay, after getting the previous collectible from this room, which was uh, upgrade core number 23, you are going to move in a southwesterly direction and you are going to pick up upgrade core number 24 and also up here you can get the red cartridge okay now you're in this room after the red cartridge pickup and the upgrade core 24 pickup uh, in this entire area you will have to defeat enemies on that platform, that platform, that platform and this little platform here just northeast of where I'm currently standing. Get the key which is obviously a necessity. You get this one which is file 22 and also if you move your way up here northeast you'll find upgrade core number 25 hidden behind this barrel thing. After the previous collectible, you'll exit up elevator number four, which will bring you to a grassy area. Make your way northeast and uh, you'll go across a car, a couple of wooden pallets and a platform. Uh, there'll be a little green Healy pack there. But this isn't the only thing. You have a secret path here, which you go across up here. And you will find repair core number 11. And also a shout out to uh, an Easter egg there, where you see Wilson the volleyball. After coming down from the island area, you'll go through uh, a doorway, which will lead you to a tunnel. You'll have a short battle here, and then you'll come out through this doorway, which will lead you here before crossing onto the water you will have a collectible here which is file number 24 okay I found the collectible for this room and it actually took me a lot longer than I would have expected so once you're in this room you would have had to uh, use one of the cartridges to get through on this door you come into this room you uh, we'll have to fight four battles uh, on these platforms here Once you've done that you can fly up here to find power core number six
Okay, following in from the power core six room, which was there, you'll want to go back up the stairs and then come along here. You'll need a frog to uh, press this button, but once you press the button, the gate bollard will go down and you can come. Actually, let's just kill this guy. Then you can pick up uh, repair core number 12. Okay, so following from Repair Core 12, which was where the cursor is, we're going to continue on through the linear path. On this segment, you'll have to carry a spider uh, via your control beam across a slowly increasing uh, shock grid. Once you're here, you'll have to use the spider to um, do a double switch. Once you've done that, follow all these down, and then you want to be on this part here. You'll see a upgrade core uh, behind the window simply fly in to grab it like this and that is upgrade core number 26 after luring a spider bot up this tube and into the room above um, you will also have to move uh, one of these cube holding uh, enemies from the room that's unlocked at the top via the spider uh, you will have to get not this cube enemy but the one that's on top to drop the cube into this tube from the top it will come down the bottom and then you'll have to get this guy to put it on there once you've done that you want to have the frog move a couple of platforms uh, you've got three to work with if I remember rightly so put one there You might be able to cross with one, but I find it uh, safer to do it with two. Uh, so you put two there, bonk, bonk. And here is radio frequency core number eight. That video uh, that you just saw there was me getting repair core number 13. Okay, after going through the yellow cartridge door inside the casino, which is where the cursor is, you'll move along and go down a ramp. When you do that, fly over to here and you'll find this big uh, pathway off in the dark. Over here, you will find image number 14, but also radio frequency core number 9. Okay, after the uh, last two collectibles, which were image 14 and radio frequency core number 9, you'll come back to where you flew over, and where the bars were down, you will now have a fight in front of a gigantic fish tank. Once you've done that, uh, these bar uh, bollards will come down, and you'll be able to pick up upgrade core number 27. Just up from that, uh, when you go up the ramp and turn right, I want to make it clear that if you hold left bumper, this image, or whatever it is, does not appear on the scan that you can see on the right, just there. 
it does not appear on the scan. The only thing that's showing on the scan is the area key and the blue cartridge. So this is an unscan logged image, uh, but it will still count towards the achievement, obviously. This is image number... Twelve, image number twelve, and remember that one is unscannable. Okay, we're coming to the end of this chapter now. Um, from the last collectibles, you would go northeast, uh, and you would collect the last key, and out here is the blue cartridge. You're going to follow the path around. You're going to ignore elevator three. You're going to circle around follow this path down here to this doorway we're going to come down that doorway which will actually put us in this door here we're going to go through which is going to bring us through that and that's actually going to take us up to this door we're going to go to the blue cartridge door here and inside you will find radio frequency core number So that's radio frequency core number 10. After you unlock the gate in Marine Nation that requires the four area keys, as soon as you come into this, you can't miss it. It's on a table um, and it is file 13. Okay, the next one. Uh, this one is also unscannable. Notice that it does not scan when I hold down the left bumper. Um, this is after the room with the gate. You go past the red, uh, the door with the red light that you can't enter yet on the way to the boss. You trigger this switch to open it and like the green light goes on. And down here, make sure you pick this up because I'm not sure if you can come back to this room. Anyway, this is... Uh, File 25. After the previous collectible and after you've gone through the uh, green light door, which turns out to be an elevator, once you're at the top, before you go into the next room past this craftomatic, uh, might as well activate that as well. Um, there is an image here, which is image number, image number one. So image number one is just before the Marine Nation boss room.